Hey guys, I'm Nikita, and I have a question for you. What's one financial lesson that you wish you had learned a little sooner? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I'm always learning new things to help me reach my financial goals. Like I keep a monthly budget and it's just it was just this basic Excel spreadsheet until one of my fellow nerds introduced me to an app that automates everything. Like, do you realize how much time I could have saved if I had this app automating everything for me? Obviously, everybody has their own financial goals and their own path to reach those financial goals, but it did get me a little curious. What are some lessons that others have learned? I'm new to NerdWallet and a remote first employee. So when I got the opportunity to visit our San Francisco office, I thought, what a great chance to meet and learn from some of my fellow nerds. And I hope you guys agree. Let's chat with some of my coworkers to hear their financial goals and some lessons that they wish they had learned a little sooner. Is there a lesson that stands out as something that you wish you had picked up a little sooner? Yeah, for sure. In one of my early jobs, I was working for another financial services firm. I had to do some research on uh, PFMs, which are personal financial management apps. Um, and at, in doing that research, I had this sort of like epiphany, wake up, like every, every dollar should be working for you. You shouldn't just be working for your dollars. And so from that point on, I've been really more intentional around like, not just saving money and being like saving 100% for the future, but also living for the right now and making sure that I'm mindful about like, how much money do I allocate for saving for the future, like retiring early or, you know, taking a mid-career sabbatical, for example. Yeah. Um, but how much do I want to spend now? And, and, um, and what do I want to spend that on? And, and how do I want to enrich my life in a way that isn't just about like money? Yeah. What is a lesson that kind of stands out as, oh man, I kind of wish I had known this a little sooner. I tend to really overthink finances yeah. sometimes and I can find myself like, I lived in New York City one uh, summer and I basically just spent the entire time <laughs> in, um, like I'll go to extremes to save yeah. money sometimes and it's really bad. Like I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get Chipotle or I'm gonna walk really far to this Chipotle instead of taking the train. I basically just stayed in Harlem like the entire summer because I didn't want to spend money. Um, and so I think looking back on some of those like kind of crazy things that I've done or yeah. things that I've missed out on to save money or even working as much as I did during college, um, it really just, highlighted the importance I think for me create like a fun budget yeah. line in your kind of yeah. whether it's a mental budget or a physical budget I like that. Um, because I think for me it's really easy to just save 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 and then um, not actually kind of live Literally, alive yeah. yeah so that's I'm still working work in progress <laughs> <laughs> not fully reformed um, but that's definitely something that um, I'm definitely trying to work on yeah do you feel like there was a turning point for you where you're like I deserve like I'm working so hard I deserve to treat myself a little. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was definitely um, when I was able to, one, when I had like my emergency fund set up, yeah. when I kind of felt like, okay, like yeah. I am like doing better. Like I, I don't have to worry yeah. about like, will I be able to make this or that bill? Yeah. Or I was really finally able to kind of breathe a sigh and yeah. kind of relax. Um, yeah, I, I definitely think that. Took a little pressure off of yourself. For sure, like the mental pressure of me being like, yeah, if 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 I were to get fired, like I'd be okay. Yeah. If X were to happen, like I'd be okay. Yeah. So I think like, that's huge. Like getting all of those boxes checked was, I think, really um, important to me. Yeah. What is one lesson that you wish you had learned a little sooner? How much healthcare plans can be different with different employers? <laughs> I uh, have found with with my current plan that uh, some medications are covered uh, that I have to take um, that are not covered on other plans. Yeah. And um, it's expensive. I mean, we're talking about thousands of dollars um, for each fill type of a thing. Yeah. So it, these things make a big yeah, difference. Yeah, a big yeah. difference. My daughter needed braces and you exactly. know, those, those sort of expenses add up. So it's definitely something, even if it might mean taking a slightly lower salary, but I'm gonna save the, you know, five potentially grand in braces and it could potentially exactly. balance out. Yeah. You know, those are definitely things worth considering. Mm -hmm. Of your financial journey, I'm sure you've picked up a lot of lessons along the way. Does one stand out as a lesson that you wish you had learned a little sooner in life? When I started investing, it can be a very emotional experience. You accept more risk and you're partying with your money. Um, so it can be tempting to put money in at various times and hope for the best and kind of time the market. But then I learned about dollar cost averaging, which is the idea that 
um, you actually see the best performance if you put the same amount in over the same time periods. Um, so becoming routine about it really lessens that emotional connection because you're not thinking about both tying your money up and the risk and how to best time it. You're just thinking about that future goal and putting the same amount in every month, every couple of months, um, and knowing that history shows that over the long term, you'll actually pay less than somebody who tried to time the market. Yeah. And I think that a lot of the fear is that I'm going to miss out on all these big gains if I put in, you know, put all my money into this and the stock rises and then I sell, you know, I could benefit a lot from that. But I think that what you're saying is super on point that it's better for the long run. And you'll probably save yourself yeah. some stress. Some stress. I think a lot of people have FOMO, you know, like fear of missing out. <laughs> like I don't want to, I don't want to miss out on the big win, but taking the emotion out of it, I think is huge. Yeah. So obviously everybody has their own unique financial journey and you've had lessons that you've learned over said journey. What's one lesson that you wish you had learned sooner? The flat white or like the cortado I was getting in the morning was not stopping me from like garnering wealth. I read a book by Rachel Rogers called like we should all be millionaires, which really set off a light bulb in my head that it's like, it's not my $4 coffee that like makes me really happy in the morning and I get to go to work and I have my coffee and I'm happy. That's not what's keeping me back from gaining wealth or garnering wealth or earning or whatever it might be. It's like, oh, all the other decisions I'm not making, right? Like all the other stuff where like, maybe I have my coffee in hand, but I'm not investing and I'm not, you know, making long-term goals. It's like, that's what's holding me back, right? Um, and so kind of shifting my mentality on number one, like, doing the things I enjoy, right? And that really do give me joy every day. I love my cup of coffee. And then also adding to that and looking at like longer term wealth creation and what it takes to do that. I love that takeaway, <laughs> especially if you think about like the fact a $5 cup of coffee, even if you had one every day for a year is less, it's not even $2,000, you know? You can still have your coffee and invest and pay down your debts and do like the other things that you need to do, like you said, to build towards financial success. Right, like I would, I would not buy the $5 coffee, feel sad, and then buy the $60 dress. Like yeah. it just wasn't making sense. <laughs> Lots of great insight today. Personal finance is obviously very personal and everybody has their own unique story to share. It's not something that we talk about often enough, so it can be tricky to get these conversations started. But you never know what you're gonna learn from your peers. Like talking to my coworkers today, one of my biggest and favorite takeaways is the reminder that it's okay to indulge if it fits in your financial plan. Like, let's be real, I was going to get my daily chai latte anyway, but it's nice to be reminded that I don't have to feel guilty about it. Wherever you are in your financial journey, there's always new tips, options, information that can help. So whether you're saving up money, whether you're trying to pay down debt, whether you're looking to improve your credit or whatever, have a plan and don't be afraid to turn to your coworkers, your peers or professionals for their input. You never know what you might learn. If you learned something from this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos. And if you're looking to earn a little extra income, be sure to check out my side hustle video for some tips on different things that you can try to earn a little extra money on the side. See you guys next time.